efficiency is a pretty pretty well understood thing. Don't use red and green. I mean, that's not the only one, but it's like, don't don't use red and green. If you're using red and green, you're not communicating any other way. Like, you're just not paying attention. Um, oh, there's a VR version of this game? Weird. Okay, let me get the sound. I apparently made land. Hang on. I'm not trying to play the game. I'm trying to adjust sound stuff. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Output. All right, I got the audio muted, so if I nuke my ears, it's just me. Oh, yeah, that is bejeebusly loud. Um, oh, do you not have... Oh, there you go. I got scared that didn't have audio settings. Okay. Yeah, if you're someone who deals with motion sickness, it is very hard to find VR. That's okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill our music, switch our scene back, and choose done. All right, and that should bring up the game. Oh, is there no music to this game at all? I guess not. Well, then in that case, welcome back, music. All right, so this is called Townscaper. My understanding of what this game is, is you kind of make your own thing. Can I not rotate you? Okay, I can rotate you. Um, but you're basically making your own, like, little plates. Oh, the controls for this are... Oh, I see. I'm locked onto the island. I was like, why am I not moving farther? I'm, I'm locked onto the edges of this. Um, so what I'm supposed to be able to do... Is just kind of make myself a little city. Is there, is there a rotate? Yeah, there is. I just did a minute ago. Yeah, that's the idea. It's supposed to be like a cozy little game where you make yourself like a little city and all that. Um, How do I make building? Oh. Oh, interesting. I did not expect you to control in this manner. That's... That's a lot of work they put into figuring that out. What happens when I take two buildings of different colors and I shove them together? It gives a really ugly seam. I mean, that checks out. Oh wait, did you see- hang, hang on. It gives like a little stairwell in the back. I want to make more beach. That's what I want to do. I want to make the beach bigger. This game looks very stylistically to that biking hopping game. Biking hopping game. Biking hopping game. Man, there's there's so many details. Like it's adding like ladders down here and mailboxes. Um, it realized I had doors back here, but didn't know where to put them, so it gave me like a stairwell to go down here, and then it also created a stairwell. When I put this here. It gets rid of those stairwells, but that's it's fascinating. And they add like all sorts of that is I'm I'm nerding out a little bit because of just thinking about all the things they're going to have to handle to make that work the way it does. Um none of which probably people who play the game would really care about. Cool. So you can have stuff on stilts. I feel like this was an experiment with NVIDIA's AI stuff. So Auto-generated images or something? Uh, Auto-generated images are a very different tech. That's real wild. You can see I immediately was trying to see if I could break it. This game is some serious ASMR, I know, right? I don't think this is a game you stream for any reasonable length of time. But, like...
You know what? I like this better. What about you? No. I like I like it being weird. So this is like Dwarf Romantic. Uh yeah, except Dwarf Romantic, um, like there's actually like a win lose condition, that kind of thing. This is you just this looks so good for folk who uh really like to build stuff. Take screenshot that. So I'm not sure if you're noticing. They have over here, where was it? Export to OBJ. OBJ is a file format for 3D models. And there are things you can take OBJ files and put them into 3D printers. So in theory, you can make your cool little little town here, export that 3D model, and then take that 3D model and 3D print it. So you'd have like your own like little little city on your table or whatever. Is there a different type of ground? Like I'm noticing Oh wait. How how did I mean it's cool, I just don't understand. Okay, so that just goes straight. That's fine. That one I go, it puts a seam. That goes straight. Why is that one different? Like, these will all be straight, but that one's got a weird bend in it. So this also has that weird bend in it. Interesting. Oh, and I can just build over here also. I'll probably mess with that in a minute. I kind of want to see... That's cool. So, I managed to get the one split and I went around and attached it. But the fact that I even was smart enough to put like the actual drainage t tube there... This is some sharp stuff. kind of not uniform grid like it's a grid but the lines are curved and tails yeah there's there's some there's some weirdness that goes on with it um which i'm i'm really cool with it oh i want to keep keep the stairs man keep i want i want you to have the stairs no keep the stairs you don't you don't go to be here i want those stairs to stay the stairs are cool i like the stairs don't take my stairs I think there's some uh, like fisheye lens applied. It seems like you can modify the grid as well on the panel. Can you? Oh. Oh no, so that changes the light source. That's horrific. I don't like it. Okay. You can undo everything. I'm 187 actions in that I can undo. Oh, we didn't look at the settings. Um, yeah, so the settings are we can pin the UI, anti-aliasing, lock at 30 frames per second, and then we've got touch, gamepad, and key controls. Um, so not a whole lot of stuff going on there. The one nice thing is by having all those three input devices, that does give us accessibility. The thing labeled grid? Where did... Okay, the thing labeled grid. Oh. Oh, that's weird. So it's like a curvy mesh. So they're not there's not rectangles. Neat. It 
this could be the cool uh, basis for an FPS. Yeah. I wonder if the modifiers to the grid. What if it modifies the grid as you go? Doesn't look like it. This is both interestingly and a deeply upsetting house design we're doing over here. It's like some GTA mansion house design. Oh, of course, we're going to have something like this. Hey, hey, Sui! How's it going? We are playing a game that hurts my brain in like the chillest way possible. They gave me just a moment to get you a shout out. And sorry about the alerts not working. I'm having a problem with my alerts. I need to I need to take a day and just fix my alerts. Um, but here's a shout out for Sui. For those who don't know Sui, absolutely fantastic streamer. Well we're checking out. Does a variety of content, good times and all that good. Good, you're super tired. I understand if you need to go. Um, but yeah, this is like some like little little cute game where you build a city and it's hurting my brains because like you know like it's it's a grid and i put stuff but it's like automatically generating all the roofs and like tunnels and all that like it's just it's just you, you put down blocks and it makes a city like i don't want to overstate what the game is but like you just kind of plunk stuff down it's cute and adorable but like as you can see it's a grid and i'm just Ending up splitting off tunnels into all sorts of different ways. It's so weird. But, um, but thank you so much for raiding. Welcome, raiders. I am Raw Storage. I do play a variety of games here on Twitch. Oh, that's like, I can't get the angle. Like, they actually have that weird still tip added there. It's so weird. Like it adds it adds all sorts of staircases. Like I didn't add all that. It's like just automatically generating it. Yeah, for the record, I am real search. Sorry, I'm like programmer brain is geeking out right now. Um but I am real search. I do play a variety of games here on Twitch. My main game historically has been Product Zomboid. Um I am a variety streamer though, so I do play other games, but I'm known Product Zomboid for having set the highest kill count record at 135,120 zombies killed. That record has been beaten uh since that was set. But um, I do play a variety of games here. A lot of like city builders, settlement builders, survival, uh, tycoons, roguelikes, that kind of nonsense. It's all good times. Um, we did do a bunch of Project Zomboid earlier tonight. That went really well. Um, we've been clearing Louisville on another character on 16 times top and all that. Oh, it's no problem, Sui. You absolutely, you know, crash, get your rest, do all that good stuff. The raid is super duper appreciated. You, like, nothing to apologize about. Um... But uh, we did that, and now we've been playing a variety of games. We played um, we played one where you had like this big rock that you like build a little city on, and it was kind of like balancing our stuff, super chill. Um, we played a uh, uh, game that's sort of like Save Your Ship mod from um, RimWorld, but like a lot, it's like it's like someone took FTL and then like that mod just like smashed the two again, and it looked really good. But I'm not even someone who gets motion sickness, and some of the decisions they made were. I'm a little like I'm I'm a little uncomfortable right now just because they kind of were messing with me. Um so it looked like there was a lot of potential to the game but there's like one or two things like you need to change that. Like um they had a map 
And so you'd like have the screen, it's all dark because it's space, and you'd hit the sector map, and you'd get blasted with just an off-white screen. And you're like, why would you make the sector map of a space game nearly white? Uh, so that was a bad time. But, um, so we did that, we did like a couple missions that, and it was a good time. I think like gameplay-wise it's in a good place. Um, like, I wanted to kind of play more, but they, they go really over the top with the parallax with like four or five different layers that kind of just go on their own. And it was just like, oh no. Oh, very no. And so I was like, okay, like, I don't have a huge amount of time streaming. Let's just break out some chill game. And this is one I saw, and like, oh, it's making the grid larger. Okay. And I was like, this is a very small playing field. But it's just, you build buildings. And it seems like such a silly little thing. But like, this is actually genuinely really kind of just... You make a little city and it's very cathartic. You can see like I was experimenting with, they started just to like... There was like one, it's like this little spot here was what we started with. And we just kind of like added stuff to it. Um, And so you can see me like experimenting with different stuff to like see what the engine can and can't handle and all that. And it's done amazingly. Um, But yeah, it's just this cool little game. I was hoping you'd put the door there. But like... And, and it has like a bunch of interesting features. Like apparently you can export whatever you make here into an OBJ file. Which is just a 3D model in general. Um, which means you could potentially like, if you really wanted to, you could make something in this. Export as an OBJ file. Like, if you wanted to make this, like, a map. So you could export it so you could, like, load into whatever 3D software you want. And, like, make whatever tweaks you want. I have no idea how, how the vertices and all that would be, like, it could be an absolute disaster. But you could potentially break this out in, like, 3D Studio Max or something and start editing it. Um, you would be able to, like, put this in a 3D printer and go with that kind of thing. So it's like there's there's some fascinating implications with that. I am wishing I had some control over the um the grid. Like not not that I could necessarily fully edit it. But like I don't like that. Yeah, I'll crowd him up in there. That seems like a thing that actually happened. Almost, almost treat this like how tall a tower can you make. We're gonna find out here in a minute. That was that was one of the things that kind of crossed my mind. Is like, oh, but how how far up can we go? Now, I'm not gonna go like straight up. I think we're gonna like do something with it. Um. Oh, we can get real weird with this. You can get pretty heckin' high from the looks of this. I mean, there's gonna be a limit of some kind. My pup would absolutely adore having that many balconies. You know that once we get all the way up here, I absolutely have to put, like... A platform that goes out, right? Like, we, we all agree that's the next thing that's happening naturally, right? I also like that it's not a square tower. It's like this weird, like, sort of, um, sort of a scance to it. 
how how high are you gonna let me go, man? I mean, I appreciate, but like, you have you have to stop. You can't let this keep going. Oh, I'm gonna build off the side. Don't worry. I'm gonna get as high as it'll let me go, and then I'm gonna do it. Unless we get to the point where it's like so absurdly high that I'm like, no, really, there can't be a, like they've got to be doing somewhere they just don't have a limit. Now, keep in mind, they've depicted nothing here being technological in this place whatsoever. Uh, so someone's going to have to climb the stairs. So if you could just imagine for a moment, you have the apartment on the very top of this building, like the tippy tippy tip top. Uh, getting your groceries. How, I am genuinely like, I mean, even a pulley system, that's like four or five straight hours of pulleying your groceries up the side of this building. Seriously, how? All right, I'm gonna try and get this straight on. Oh my god. I'm actually guessing if there is a limit. This makes me wish I had an auto clicker installed. No, I couldn't auto clicker this. It's like slowly shifting the. Oh, we hit the limit, chat. This is, this is how tall this can be. I can't, I can't really get it into frame. That is, that is, is it? Is that 128? Um, you might be on it. No, it's probably more than 108. This needs a moment. The moment for how high does it go? I haven't used a moment in age. All right, but here's a question. Oh, it's so hard to control up here. Some point it's got to add a second set of stilts on here. Some point there has to be a second set of stilts. It could be 128, it could be 256. Or it could be some weird, obscure number. This is how this should work. Oh, oh, it stopped, it stopped using the same... Oh, it was recalculating the stilts. Oh, it's because I'm over top of the other houses. So the game's going, what, where do you want, what do you want, how do you, what, what are you having me do? Dr. Seuss wouldn't touch this. Is there, is there dust falling when I do that? All right, I have to check. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I thought I had a number. <laughs> so what does that do? Ah, so it's just totally detached. I The only downside is now I've done that, I can't, I can't get the camera to move the way I want. This is... This is a problem. And it's because basically the my my camera's locked inside the circle here that's gridded here. Um and so like I'm on the edge of the circle, I can't really get my position 
where I need it very easily. The strongest shape. Someone needs to clip this. This monster. Like, I'm gonna have to go back to, like, when, whenever we decide, like, the good, like, the best point for this being silly. Like, probably not when we got the whole snake thing. Like, when we got up here and just started this nonsense. Like, maybe the first time it moved the stilt. I'm gonna have to get rid of it, chat, because I can't... I can't... get this. Yeah, but what, what part do I moment on it? I'll do the moment, because I have them to spare. But... When it comes to the actual uh, clip, um, this monster. Like I'm gonna have to go back to like when, whenever we decide like the good, like the best. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll create a different one. I'm gonna make a moment. Wait, I get four a month. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll fix that because that. Oh, that's interesting. And I'll go through those. Alright, I have to get rid of it though, chat. Like It is just messing up that camera. I have to test things. Yeah, let's, let's see you calculate that engine. There it goes. That looks terrible. I love it. It did have to think about it for a good while. We are keeping the, the tall part of the tower. I'm going to cut it off like one tile after we start going straight up. What's interesting is it is keeping in mind to put the actions back. Yeah, I know I should have undone it, but yeah. No, I was thinking the same thing. Alright, so we're going to make this go a little bit over it. Nah, that's too much. There. And this is Townscaper. Um... It looked like a cool little game. I wanted to support it, and I do not regret that at all. I do regret that I need to make this arena bigger so the camera's not struggling so hard. I mean, it's not struggling. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to, but that I'm just having a hecking hard time with it because I need more this way. Give. Give. Okay. I can move around, and it doesn't feel terrible now. Give. Give. Okay, there's not click and drag for anyone curious. Alright, so I think I'll have a split over here. I'll probably get rid of this now. I mostly just needed something far enough away from that tower that it wasn't just... I'm still fighting with the camera. Oh man, I might get rid of the tower. The tower's cool, but it's making it so hard to maneuver the camera, unfortunately. Like, I'll keep a little bit of it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, cut it, cut it down like a good, a little bit shorter than that. Okay, so that should be way. Yeah, that's way better, because it's trying to keep that top part in, and it's just causing mayhem. Chaos.
I want just enough that the the architectural co person is just like, but why? Why would you do this? That's actually a good angle there. One thing I do wish is the beach here. I wish I could make more beach. If I click here though, it just makes thing. I wish I could make the beach extend out more. I feel like we could do fun things with that. Um, that's a cool little design. Yeah, so I like the way it adds like those little those little side paths and all that there. Yeah, like you can't back the camera up any more this way. I wonder how big we can make the the area. All right, test time. I mean, that's big. I wonder if it still goes the other way too. Like that's centered around this or it keeps going to have like one extreme. Oh no, it it definitely um yeah, it has a limit on, like, just the width, and because we spread this way, I can't go any farther the other way. Okay. I mean, that's fair. It's such a weird grid. I appreciate it. But such, like, it's a silly little game, but... It's very cathartic. And it very genuinely makes you go, like, what can I do next? Oh, what? Where's that one? Yup, that's staying. Uh, I'm gonna make it... Eh... Should be bright, whatever color it is. I do wonder if there's a way to give up different roof colors, because they seem to be mostly having similar roof colors. Okay. Oh, I bet you could do like the equivalent of like some ASCII style art, or not ASCII art, uh, pixel art with this and come up with some pretty fantastic stuff. Like, I wonder, we're just gonna try and do something silly real fast. Um, okay, let's find some good tiles. So I can make a sad face here. Alright, with it automatically turning that color, it doesn't really work great. There's some real awful teeth. Nope, doesn't work. 
I retract my thing about the pixel art. Does not, does not look good. The game is cool, not a pixel art kind of game. I'm sure you can do some super awesome stuff that can make stuff look like stuff. But with the fact that it like, puts those roofs, like the flat roof tops on, that makes it still that same color, it's really hard to do a lot with it. It's a cool little little place over here. As those games some time ago looked really chill. First impression, it is neat. We made a tower so ungodly high that like it was breaking everything and it was still doing a good job like calculating the stilts like they were completely unrealistic stilts um because they had this tower that went like up like when we're talking up like this height you see here probably like five or six times as high and we had like a snaking thing that was at the very top and it still like put stilts all the way down it was pretty good um but yeah not super chill not only is it a game you play for hundreds and hundreds of hours or anything like that but like for just kind of goofing off and like making these cool little things like it does some really amazing tech in here it's like such a simple thing on how it works too like so so far as play like no one needs to explain the controls to you you put the thing over the square and you click Congratulations, you know the controls. You want it gone? You right click. Those are the controls. Just left and right click. And then choose your color. Yeah, it is. It is like mega chill. Like, and don't get me wrong, there's, like, so much more they could do with the game. I don't think they will. Like, what they... This feels very tech demo like, tech demo -y. Like, they got this, like, cool cool tech they came up with. And they just kind of kind of experimented with it. They gave you, like, a fun little thing you could do in it. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. Because, yeah, like, I'm just really enjoying this. It's so, like... I mean, again, for the, for the record, like, part of the thing that's got me here is I'm, I'm nerding out on what they had to do so far as, like, you know, prediction and all that. Like, when I put the blocks to make all sorts of windows and doors and stilts and put the tunnel ways through, like, there's a lot happening here. Oh, I didn't want to do that one. Where's the car? What happens? You all know where this is going. Oh, they have different pitches based on color. That's interesting.
course, have to go the other way. Oh, that's interesting. It, it put an alley in there. Huh. I also think, like, at first I was like, oh, like, the whole, where the grid isn't just an actual grid, it kind of, kind of has a weird shape to it. At first I was like, oh, that kind of sucks in some ways, because you have less control over a lot of things. But I think it actually makes it better in the long run, because it kind of makes you do stuff counter to what you would normally do. Like, if it does a grid, you build, like, certain shaped buildings, you just go with that. Um, but this does instead, you kind of, like, just end up working with what you got. It does mean you kind of come up with all sorts of like different designs and patterns. Oh, I know what I'm doing with this building. Nah, that looks that doesn't look as good as I thought it would. Did it really put the door in the back? Oh no, there's a front door too. Oh, we got this cool spot in the middle. We can do some with this. But it's like, no matter what you do, there's a certain amount of um, asymmetry to it. Like, even though this building should be effectively symmetri like symmetrical, like you can see there's like different curves to it and all that. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I know some people's going to be deeply upsetting for them. I uh, say that one doesn't feel good. It's like it's like you started to try and build this building, they're gonna make it all symmetrical, and then you find like there was like this big crevice in the ground, you just couldn't work with. You're like, all right, this one sider is gonna like shove it in. So instead of getting this like cool like, you know, six star pattern here, you just kind of like shove these two in because like this big crack that goes through the ground there. They just had to make do. We can actually make it look nice as well by going like this. Thank you. 
Yeah, so it'd be like this would be. Mm. Oh, that'd be so weird for house design. I think we got got rid of that. So like that, this corner here is not attached. So you go upstairs, go downstairs. That like one spot that's like out over the water. Yeah, so it's like this is like some some important government building or whatever. Like this is where you'd go in dock. There's a visitor center, all that. Just making a bunch of weird like on the on the water stilted houses. You know, it's kinda cool that they all like vaguely have like their main windows looking this way. Yeah, if you're looking for chill, this is like someone said, I want to make the chillest chill that ever chilled in the chill chill. And then this is the game. Like there's no there's no stressor going on, there's no anything else, just kind of hanging out, vibing with it. really really bizarre house don't I don't want a flat roof like it seems like it takes four or five tiles once you put that together it makes it a flat roof like that's just programmatically how it works there that's a little bit better so I got a bunch of weird houses that are like over on stilts I like some like kind of weird like stilt hotel thing. We'll probably make the middle. No, I don't want you to be solid. So chill, just the ridiculous amount of stuff you can do with this.
Oh, that makes me curious. Ah, bummer. That's interesting. So in the back half, putting those two stilts over didn't do anything. This half, it turns it flat. I'm sure there's a reason, because of course there's going to be a reason. But just interesting that, nope, that's how it ended up working. All right, we'll make a couple little teeny tiny. A bunch of little tiny places over here. Okay, well, that is, uh, wow, time flies. Man, that's, that's such a neat game. Like, all the different just silly nonsense I was able to make with this. Man, like, I could, I could see burning ridiculous hours in there. Though. Like, we kind of just crafted this, like, really ridiculous city. But yeah, so this is, this has been a lot of fun. This is, um, this is Townscaper. And for the record, like I said, I don't think this is a game you burn hundreds and hundreds of hours in or anything. It's just a like, chill game where you just like want to make different things. Like, you can see all like the different varieties of architecture I was able to put together with just, you know, messing with this. Like, we made this like weird tower thing. We made like, you know, kind of almost like warehouses on the dock type deal. I made this like tier mansion-y house thing. Some like what looks like a normal like coastal village thing. I made whatever this rainbow like townhouse thing is which apparently there's i guess a building that goes to the middle of it or like a dock that goes to the middle of it uh so just different designs here some like weird bendy houses some like little little dock house some weird house in the middle of the ocean and stilts which i could only imagine you gotta be in the middle of it with some like almost temple looking build with like a um like a visitor center almost and our, like little like little Commerce town, like you'd probably have like this middle area, probably a square you do stuff, and these would probably be like the business, just random houses or whatever. This being some type of like probably overpriced fancy motel thing, because why not? But yeah, so this, this has been a fascinating interest. What what is the what is what is the arrows down there trying to tell me? Oh, they're just I think it's like this is framing like if I was to take a screenshot or something. But yeah, can where's the save? I'm gonna back here, put that in the frame. Why not? I'm gonna export the OBJ just to see what it looks like later. Can I can I open that OBJ? I think I got a program to open that. Um, what folder were you in? We'll just go like this because that's the easiest way to do this. Let's see what let's see what that file actually looks like. Oh, one second, I see a problem. Um switch my control layout, control C A, cancel, go here, paste, go there. Do I have anything that can open 
an OBJ file. Unfortunately, I do not. I do see a thing that's like 3D print. I'm going to mute my system audio just in case it does like the bong or whatever. So I don't blast everyone. I want to see if this opens real fast. Ah, boo. Okay. It's fine. Um, I was seeing if I had a... I know I, I used to have before I did my my update because I've made 3D applicate like 3D models that were OBJs for 3D printing on this computer before, but I had um I had to reinstall last year, um I didn't reload it. I wanted to see what the actual 3D model of this looked like. Unfortunately, I don't have anything I can open on without downloading stuff, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. But that's been cool. I enjoyed it. Um, that said, I'm gonna go find someone for us to raid here in a minute because it is. Is going to be about that time, and I do have a dentist appointment tomorrow, unfortunately, so I can't stay up super late. But thank you so much for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the bits, those donors, and the raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you have enjoyed the stream. Um, as a reminder, I will probably not have a stream tomorrow. If I do, it'll be very late. Um, if we do have one tomorrow, it will be Stardew Valley. We'll be picking up on a run. If not, then I will be back on Wednesday, and Wednesday we'll be doing the Stardew Valley stuff. Um, as a reminder, I am Raw Storage. I do stream six days a week. I normally do not stream on Thursdays. This week's going to be a little bit weird that I don't stream on a Tuesday as well. That's a one off. But thank you so much for everyone who's tuning in, been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the Bits, those Domes, and the Raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you have enjoyed the stream. I'm going to go ahead and put up the ending stream screen and see who I can find for us to raid. Um, how do I close this? Okay. I'm going to see who I can find for us to raid. We're just going to find someone who I know makes good content because we bounced through a whole bunch of games tonight and I don't feel the need to have any specific one. Uh, let's see here. So, out of the people I see on right now, I could see... Maybe Bloody Drongo, he's playing some FPL. Yeah, I think that might be who I go with. I know, I know we've been rating that. So, so okay, FTL or Astroneer? What are we, what are we feeling like? I got, I got two people in mind: FTL, Astroneer. Obviously, you already know the FTL one, um, because pretty much everyone else I have going on right now is like Star Citizen, Tarkov, and Path of Exile, a uh hum, -huh. or Mountain Blade, is way on, on there. Yeah, so I'm I'm thinking, all right. I'm thinking if I don't get a response, I'll go with I'll go with the uh, I go with the Astroneer. We'll we'll go with the base building. Plus, I don't I don't raid Arch very often. Uh, so let me go ahead and get that raid going. It's gonna be Arch plays stuff. Let me actually make sure he's not wrapping up. Actually, give me two seconds. Make sure he's sure he's good for a little while longer. Um, and then we're gonna get a raid going. How long have we been going? Not super long. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a, a raid on Arch Play's stuff. Because uh, we just raided um, Drongo just the other day. It's the only reason I'm not doing it. Drongo's got really good content. We're going to go ahead and drop a raid on Arch Play stuff, um, playing some Asher which is a... Uh, you kind of go to these planets, you build stuff. It's not voxel. It's like very, very polygoned. But um, it's a really good game. Anyways, thank you so much for everyone tuning in. Um, make sure you're eating, drinking, stretching, getting enough sleep, and taking care of yourselves. I do hope to see you in the next one, not tomorrow, but the day after, 5 p.m. EST or later. And if there is one tomorrow, it'll be super late. Anyways, good night. <laughs>